So here we are in the middle of nowhere on vacation and just kind of chillaxing. So yesterday Paul and I just went out for a snowshoe and the snow was really deep here. So we kind of had just a little bit of work yet going on. And then Paul had the crazy idea to come up with snowshoeing intervals. Yes, that's right. Snowshoeing intervals. You know where you are from Canada when. <laughs> Um, so Paul's just going to get changed here into his snowshoes and then he will just give you the rundown of what snowshoeing intervals will look like and the idea. So I'm um, out here and I'm going to give the snowshoe intervals a try. I was doing a little bit of it yesterday. If you've never done interval training, basically you do a really, really intense, fast paced uh, burst for about 30 seconds to two minutes and then you do an easier walk or recovery for about anywhere from 30 seconds to two minutes. So in a second, I'm gonna try a sprint here for about 30 seconds, I'm gonna ballpark it, and then walk back, and I'll probably repeat this about maybe eight to 10 times for the workout. We'll see how, how rough I'm feeling after I do a few of these. The real important thing is you should get your heart rate really elevated high, and then I'll go back down low. And one of the great things about this is you can get a really quick workout in in about 8 to 12 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. And if you're looking for weight loss or leaning down, it's a really great way to do your cardio. So I'll give this a try and hopefully not trip and fall. So I'm going to keep repeating this maybe eight to ten times. We'll see how I do. I feel a little bit like Sylvester Sloan in Rocky IV here. But the real important thing with training is try to do something different. Try to do something fun and find something challenging. As you can hear from my breathing, this isn't easy. So I'm about done. I'm getting a little bit nauseous because my lactic acid levels are getting pretty high. I managed to get through about three of those. Apparently my 8 to 10 guess was a little bit ambitious. So there you go. Uh, anyone who's looking to do it, if you get through three, you're better than I am at this. So give them a try if you're looking for something different. So another good form of exercise if you're out on vacation. Uh, you can just get your minivan stuck into about a foot of snow and have to push it out for about 30 minutes. Even better what you can do, what I did this weekend, get your van stuck three separate times so you can get lots of exercise in and that should take care of you.